Welcome back everyone to my kitchen, Catherine's Plates. Today I have on the menu sausage stuffed shells with a creamy white sauce. Bring this one to the table, you guys. It is so easy to make and very delicious. You can serve this up with like a side salad or bring another vegetable to it. Okay, if you're ready, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, we're gonna first off start by talking about these shells. Now these are jumbo shells. Don't get the large shells, there is a difference, okay? With the jumbo shells, we can stuff them. We're gonna cook these per the directions on the back of the package and we're going to cook them in boiling salted water. Make sure you got plenty of salt in there so that you flavor your pasta noodles. Now we're gonna cook these to al dente that way they can cook a little bit longer in the oven, all right? And then once they cook, go ahead and drain them and just set them aside. All right, and if you're lucky enough to have some of these shred cheese for you, there you go. Wait for three cups. Three? three I cups. quit. <laughs> okay, so while our noodles are cooking, what I'm gonna do is start making the inside mixture for our jumbo shells. And I'm gonna start off by dicing up an onion. You know, because everything you add is flavor. All right, so I'm just gonna cut it in half. Now, when I dice onions, I drive my knife through about three quarters of the way through the onion in slices. Then I stand it on its end Cut through the onion about three quarters of the way through, about twice, and then I'll just pull my knife through. To a large skillet, I'm just gonna add about one tablespoon of some cooking oil. Now you want your pan to be nice and hot, that way when you put the onions in, they sizzle and then they start cooking down really good. All adds flavor. Now this is an optional step. If you don't want to add onion, you don't have to add onion. They cook down really good and they add nice flavor. Okay, I just added in about a tablespoon of butter because it gives it a little rich flavor. Now, that's optional too. You know, when you stuff shells, they're like little pockets of goodness, let me tell you. It's so fun to put some delicious stuff in there. I made a taco stuffed shells, and then I've also done a chicken and broccoli creamy shells. Those were both so good. I'll link those both down below if you want to check them out after this video here. All right, so my onions are nice and getting a little brown here, and they're softened. What I got is one pound of some Jimmy Dean sausage. It's a pork sausage, so any kind of pork sausage will do as long as you're, it's a ground one. So we're gonna go ahead and add this. There we go. I'm gonna take my meat chopper here and just brown this all up while breaking it up. Now my noodles have finished cooking and we went ahead and drained them and they're just sitting in the strainer right now, ready to go. Once this is browned up, we're gonna finish this off. Oh, it smells so delicious. Okay, now I'm gonna be adding spinach to our sausage mixture here. This is just a frozen chopped spinach and it's in a kind of a microwave bag and I just steamed it in the microwave for about five minutes and I'm just gonna let it sit here for a minute. And then what I'm gonna do is just take a bowl with some paper towels in it and I'm gonna strain the spinach here really good, get all the liquid out of it, and then I'm gonna add it to my sausage here, and then we got a few more things to add to it. But Now, if you don't wanna add spinach, you can do some broccoli, or you can do zucchini, anything like that. I would just kind of pre-cook it a little bit before you put it in there, okay? Yeah, you see all that liquid coming out? That's not what we want in our stuffing mixture for the shells, so just try to get as much out as you can. Now, it's gonna be kinda of hot. Use a wooden spoon and just kind of flatten it against the side of the bowl here. 
Now my burner is off after my sausage has browned up. Now I've got some Monterey Jack cheese and there's three cups in here but I'm just gonna put two cups into the mixture here and the one cup will come later. So nice shreds on that. If you want to use other cheese, you can use other cheese. That's totally fine. I'm going to add some black pepper and just a little bit of salt, probably about an eighth of a teaspoon. Okay, let's combine this all together. Oh, doesn't this look good? My husband's ready with a big spoon right now. Yes, I am. <laughs> he said he could eat this just the way it is right here. But we gotta make a fun dish for dinner. Okay, we're gonna let this sit here for just a few minutes while we make our creamy white sauce. It's gonna get poured all over our shells. Okay, it's an easy one, so let's go ahead and get started with that. In a medium pot, I've got four tablespoons of butter, and I'm just gonna go ahead and melt that. Now when this is all melted, we're gonna go ahead and add four tablespoons of flour. We're just gonna mix this together for about one to two minutes. What we wanna do is cook that raw taste out of the flour, and then we wanna make sure that it's all combined with the butter into a nice smooth mixture here. And you wanna do this on a medium to a medium low heat. All right, now what we're gonna do is add two cups of milk, but you wanna add it kind of like in thirds. So add a third cup of milk slowly and stir it in, then add another third like that. Now have your whisk ready and just start whisking away. And when that combines, it'll form like a ball almost like that right here. Just keep adding some more milk and whisk. Okay, we're gonna whisk this for about two to five minutes until we get a nice, thick consistency. We want it to be pourable, okay? You don't want it thick, thick, like a gravy almost. Okay, look at this. That is perfect. We're gonna go ahead and turn the heat off now. Now I'm gonna add about half a cup of some Parmesan cheese that's been shredded. Give it some cheese flavor here. I'm gonna add about a quarter teaspoon of some pepper and a quarter teaspoon of some salt. We're going to whisk this all together until it's all nice and smooth. Look at that. Oh, yeah, that's perfect. All right, get that cheese melted in there, and then we're going to start building some shells. Okay, now I have a 9 by 13 baking dish, and what I've got is my sauce here. I'm going to put in about one ladle full. We just want to coat the bottom here, and that'll keep the shells from sticking. Now at this point, you want to go ahead and preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm taking our shells, which have been cooked. Now they've cooled off, and I'm taking about two tablespoons of the mixture here, and I'm just going to put it right into the center of our shell. Yeah, it looks good, doesn't it? And I'm just going to start laying them in lines here. What I'm going to do now is pour the sauce all over the shells. Okay, we're going to take that last cup of shredded white cheese here, the Monterey Jack that I used, and we're just going to sprinkle it over the top. This is going to give it that nice golden brown color to this. Okay, and then I'm gonna give it a little bit more color on the top. We're gonna to put some parsley. Okay, these are ready to go in my preheated oven at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes. We're just looking for this cheese to get nice and golden brown and that sauce to be a little bubbly. I'll be back. Look at that, you guys. I'm ready for this bite. Mm. It is locked full of flavors. Oh my goodness. How many of these can you make? Mm. 
I'm telling you, that sausage just has all those seasonings in it. So delicious. That creamy sauce with the cheese in it. Oh my gosh, it is delicious. And it's nice and healthy with the spinach in it too. You can't go wrong. There we go. My sausage stuffed shells with creamy white sauce. All right, who's making this one? Give me a thumbs up if you're new to my channel. Make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. I also have some videos over here. Go check them out. I'll meet you over there. Don't forget my comment, you guys. I will see you on my next episode. Mm.